Knockouts are unique and thrilling, so boxing fans always eagerly expect them in every fight. Even when a fight is in the final round, anything can happen, and a single punch can change the entire course of a fight. So, here are some of the best final round knockouts for you to enjoy. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more interesting boxing videos. In April 2009, Jermaine Taylor challenged British fighter Carl Froch for his WBC super middleweight title at the Foxwoods Resort Casino in Ledyard, Connecticut. Froch opened fire in the final round and sent Taylor to the canvas with two big right hands to the face. Taylor was able to beat the count, but Froch continued with the onslaught, landing a barrage of punches at will. The referee immediately stepped in and waved the fight over to stop Taylor from receiving more punishment. In 2001, Bernard Hopkins and Felix Trinidad squared off at the Madison Square Garden in New York in a fight billed as And Then There Was One. It was a unification bout that extended until the 12th round before Hopkins floored an already exhausted Trinidad with a big right hand that landed on the button. Trinidad's dad entered the ring after the knockdown, prompting the referee to stop the fight. Bernard Hopkins has put himself up there in the list of all the great middleweights. His 14th consecutive defense of his title. Trinidad, a beaten man. He was beaten boxing. And then he... Shane Mosley and Ricardo Mayorga met for the first time at the Home Depot Center in Carson on September 27, 2008 for the vacant WBA Intercontinental Light Middleweight title. With less than 30 seconds left in the bout, Mosley rocked Mayorga with a brutal combination that sent him down on his hands and knees. Mayorga got back to his feet but was dropped again by a sharp left hook, forcing the referee to wave the fight off immediately without starting a count. What a homecoming. This was his greatest moment to me. You know, even if beating Vargas was Vargas, but even though this guy has been losing a lot of fights, such a dramatic knockout in a fight. On March 17, 1990, Julio Cesar Chavez and Meldrick Taylor met at the Hilton Hotel in Las Vegas in what would later become one of the most historical fights in boxing. In the final round of this action-packed fight, Chavez, who was trailing on the scorecards of two of the three judges, connected with a big right hand, dropping Taylor just a few seconds before the end of the bout. Taylor got back to his feet, but the referee stopped the bout with only two seconds remaining. The referee's decision remains calm.
controversial years after the fight. Five seconds to go. You're going to watch Lou Duba go crazy now. You're going to watch Lou Duba go absolutely berserk. This is one of the most unusual calls by a referee in the whole history of the sport. Five seconds left. I cannot believe they stopped that fight. From the point of view of Chavez, it is one of the most dramatic comebacks in the history of the sport. Larry, the official time will be 2.58 of the 12th round. He knocked him out with two seconds left. In another classic fight between Jake LaMana and Laurent Dautil in September 1950, the two fighters met for the second time for the world middleweight titles at the Olympia Stadium in Detroit, Michigan. Coming into the 15th and final round, LaMana was trailing on the judges' scorecards and seemed exhausted, but he managed to pull a final assault, flooring Dautil with a flurry of punches to retain his title. In June 1991, British fighters Chris Eubank and Michael Watson met for the second time at White Hart Lane Stadium in Tottenham, London, this time for the vacant WBO Super Middleweight title. In the final minute of the 11th round, Watson floored Eubank with an overhand right, but Eubank quickly got back to his feet and returned the favor with a devastating uppercut that caused Watson to hit the back of his head against the rope. Watson was saved by the bell, but he didn't fully recover coming into the 12th round. Eubank stepped forward and connected with a flurry of unanswered punches, prompting the referee to step in and stop the contest. Felix Trinidad and Fernando Vargas met in a unification bout at the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas on December 2, 2000. After a competitive 11 rounds, Vargas came into the final round on the offensive, but Trinidad countered his attack with a left hook, sending him crashing to the canvas. Vargas got back to his feet, but Trinidad dropped him two more times to claim the victory. Knockout, or he's lost this fight. Down goes Fernando again, and holds on like a skilled veteran. He's a veteran. And that'll do it. The third right hand, the third knockdown of the round. A huge victory for Tito Trinidad. He closes the show like the champion he is. What a fight. What a fight. Give the people what they want. Did they get their money's worth tonight, George? He gave it to them. And in November 2006, Sergei Lyakovich made the first defense of his WBO heavyweight title against Shannon Briggs at Chase Field in Phoenix, Arizona. Coming into the final round, Briggs was trailing on the scorecards, and he knew the only way to win is to score a knockout. In the final minute of the round, Briggs stunned Lyakovich with a big right hand, followed by a left-right combination to knock him down through the ropes. Gasping. Big right hand by Briggs. Looking to follow it up with a left. The right down goes now. Hovich through the ropes. 
Lyakovich got back to his feet, but Briggs pressed with more punches, knocking Lyakovich through the ropes onto the scorer's table to end the bout. He's got to survive. Can Lohovich make it to the end? Off the back of the head. Oh, look out. Lohovich down through the ropes onto the scorer's table. It's all over. Bobby Ferreira is waving it off. Ferreira is waving it off. And a dazed Ducks. Sergey Lohovich is stuck between the officials' table and the ring. And Shannon Briggs has won by TKO. After a listless, lackluster fight for 11 plus rounds, it ends with an explosion. On July 29, 1994, James Tony defended his IBF light heavyweight title against Charles Williams at the MGM Grand. With less than 30 seconds in the bout, Tony broke Williams' defense with a jab and followed it with a straight right hand that landed flush on the button. Williams struggled to get back to his feet, but was counted out by the referee. Eight, nine, ten. We're watching a great fighter, guys. I mean, this guy took the other guy's best, his strength, his experience, a bigger man. He stuck in there with him. And then when the time came, he finished him. It's, a, it's just, it's not a great crowd-pleasing fight, but boy, it was a crowd which of these fights is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and click on the bell icon so that you'll never miss another interesting update.